You filming? I am. Okay, so hi guys, welcome to Grove Garden. Today I'm gonna to be doing guacamole because I love it so so much. So how do you know when the avocado is right? You push it top, bottom, bottom, top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you push the top of it. Yeah, yeah, you push the top of it. And when it goes in like that, that's when you know it's ready because the skin is so thick you can't really tell. So you wanna just follow your knife all around the Stir it in the avocado like this. Boop. Take out the eye, you don't want that. And if the stone comes out like that easily, that's when you know you're rocking. And if you take your finger thumb all the way around, and then it should pop out in one go if it's ripe. Bush in the pestle and mortar. If you don't have a pestle and mortar, just use a um, food processor or a fork in a bowl. Or, <laughs> if you're really desperate, a rolling pin in a sandwich bag. <laughs> Desperate times. Yeah, exactly. Okay, just follow. And if you want to ripen them even quicker, just get a, a banana in a bag, and that's all it takes to ripen them. You put a banana in a bag. Yeah, you put it with the avocado. Yeah, and then put it in like a warm, cold place, like under the stairs, air and cupboard. In a warm, cold place. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not too hot, it's not too. Cold. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. The avocado into a paste. Pop that to the side. And then, got my sprig onions. Just take off the root. I've chopped off the top, and if you just peel off the first layer, because we don't want to eat that, it's really plasticky. Throw it in there. Okay, bash that up. You can use red onion if you don't have spring onion. We're gonna go in with some fresh basil, herbage it up. But okay, and then go in with about a quarter of a chili. I don't want it too spicy, so I've taken the uh, seeds out. Squeeze of lime, if you've got the time. Kills it. And then add some coriander and parsley. And then we're gonna season it. Salt. You gotta keep tasting it to see if it needs more. So tasty, tasty. <laughs> That tastes perfect. <laughs> I'm really shocked. <laughs> Good for be, you. I thought it'd be a little bit off. Uh, anyway, if you want to, you can just have any old kind of. We're going to basically make Doritos, but healthy versions. Okay, so just cut it like this, and then just tear them up. Pop them onto some parchment paper, and then I've got some pita bread. You can just tear that up. Basically, if you have any bread in your house and you're like, I don't, I really want crisps, take some bread, oil, salt and pepper, and just bake it, and it'll crisp them right up, and you've got chips. Hummus, guacamole, salsa, whatever you desire. Good bit of olive oil on. Salt and pepper. And that's it, that's gonna go in. And then I've got some tomatoes. This is just for decoration for the end. You could put tomatoes in there for now. Okay, and that's gonna go in the oven that's preheated at 180 Celsius for about 20 minutes so it's nice and golden. And then it's ready to eat. Yeah. Okay, so once they come out of the oven, they're gonna be nice and golden. Little chips there. Grub Garden guacamole with tortilla chips and pita chips. Please subscribe to the channel. Links all down in the description with the recipe. I'll see you next Thursday.